sneak peek. Welcome back to the world's worst fishing, everybody. I'm Chris Jones, currently en route to the post office to send out uh, a bunch of uh, baits that um, people have bought for me. So thank you to everyone who uh, shows interest in, uh, in some of my creations. It is not lost on me. I appreciate all of y'all. Um, so we are trying to mail those out here before Thanksgiving. So hopefully everyone will be receiving those in, in the next few days, um, at, at least in reference to me filming this video in this entrance here, or uh, yeah, the intro to the video. So uh, today we're going to be continuing our new molds uh, quest, I, I guess, after Josh loaded me up. And uh, this one I've always had my eye on, a lot like the brush hog, or the, the, the crazy hog. So the crazy hog was always on my mind. This one's been on my mind as well. Let's take a look. You know it's a good day when you're Publix subbing it. All right, we are back in the fish cave. And uh, so this is the mold today. This is the three and a half inch Phantom Core Shot Grub. Now this mold comes in two configurations. Um, it comes in the non-core shot. And then of course, what we have today the core shot. So, um, you know, again, the core shot concept is something super cool. It's something, you know, that, uh, that, that Josh did a number of years ago. And, uh, I mean, it's just so much fun to do core shot injection because of just the depth, right? It allows you to get color within color and add dimension to a bait that you don't normally get with injection. Um, and I will tell y'all just a little, um, fact about this mold this grub because of the ridges on the tail and the kick that it has this is the owner's josh of ai this is his favorite flipping bait so not only can you swim this or put it on the back of <clears throat> a bladed jig or a swim jig as a as a trailer it's also an amazing flipping bait because of its profile it's kind of slender enough that it can go through heavy cover and it kicks all the way down uh, it's kind of similar in that regard to maybe like a pit boss type bait. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be playing with the core shot phantom mold today. I've actually got some uh, swim baits curing up here. So uh, this is a familiar color right there. This is the green color shift shad. That is the hyper shift ZTG pigment on top. And, uh, and then this is a color I'm working on, sort of a green hickory shad. You can see the green highlight there on the top color. And then a strong blue highlight vein and then the blue highlight bottom so two kind of different takes on shad colors so those are just some recent pours right there so again we have the core rods here we want to uh, lubricate them so we're just going to use some regular traditional worm oil which is always something you want to have in your bait shop and just kind of get the rods uh, good and oiled up then we can scooch everything on over and uh, what's cool about this mold is that you only have to mess with three rods, but you get six cavities. You know, it just kind of goes all the way through. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's less work, and you get what I think is a big return. You know, six of these, you know, <clears throat> that's a high cavity mold for hand injection. So I'm really liking that, that it's only three rods, but I get paid off with six baits. So hard to believe, but it actually is in the 40s today, which is cold enough that I want to try to uh, blast some of this cold off of the molds, right? So, uh, you know, you can always just stick your molds on your hot plate or your griddle. And, you know, for those of you working in much colder areas of the country, you know, anyone with experience knows that cold, really cold molds and really cold injectors makes injection difficult until you've gotten a couple rounds through and everything starts to heat up so me i just like to blast just kind of blast the chill off of it all right so we're stirring in a little bit of watermelon pigment here and um yeah we need more than that <clears throat> it's not quite not quite there a couple more drops come on baby just straight watermelon 101 yeah that's looking good you know, again, with the shells, you don't want the shells too thick. 
because then you can't really see the core effect. But you want them saturated enough that you can see the cork, uh, excuse me, you can see the shell color. Uh, what I like about some of these dead-on flakes is that they're odd sizes. This is sort of between small and medium. Um, so that'll give it some nice texture effect. In fact, this one's completely unopened. So this meteor is sort of a black hologram. You can sort of see the hologram effect there. I'm not so concerned with the, with the hologram. I just wanted black flake this size, <laughs> and this is what I have. But uh, I think it's going to look good either way. So we'll just kind of pepper it up with some of that. All right, and then some of this hologram medium gold. That's pretty. That's very, very, very pretty. Yeah, this will be kind of a bright, bright, fun shell color, I believe. Yeah, I cannot wait to see this in this mold. Okay, so I actually want this to be a little bit darker green and a little more green green. So maybe two drops of emerald, which definitely has a, a darker, more blue green. It's a little more rich. So we're just gonna kind of liven it up. Yeah, see how it's just a little greener now? Just a little greener. All right, here we go with the shell color. Let's do it. Let's run them up. Yeah, feeling good. Nice, solid, solid run there. Hold a little bit of pressure. First ever time with this mold. All right, let's see how the shells came out. <clears throat> or not. Gotta break this baby open. Let's see. Ah, oh, I was hoping they'd come out on the bottom. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay. That's a pretty that's a pretty color. I'm glad I added the uh, emerald to it cuz it just looks greener. That makes sense. So, what's cool about this mold is you have a couple of options on how you want to do your cores. And by that, here's what I mean. So, we have this uh, this tail, all right? So, we can slide the shells off and leave the green tails intact, okay? That way we only have a black core go through the body. Or, we can snip, right, the shell right there, above where the tail hits, and then whenever we fill in the core, we have a core through the green body, but then the core color then takes over and fills in the tail. So basically you have the option to do green body, black core with black tail, or green body with green tail with the black core. So we're gonna do that. We're just gonna do black core through the body on this run. And if we do another run, we'll do it the other way so that you can see all the different types of uh, effects that you can get just with this one mold. So again, we want to uh, slide this off and we're basically leaving it, oops, that's way off camera frame, sorry guys. We're basically leaving this as is, right? Just like that in the uh, cavity. And now for the core color, solid black. Oops, got a little air in there. Here we go. We want to inject it pretty firmly and hold some pressure, make sure everything fills. Hopefully it did. We will find out. So I've got a bad feeling about this one. The shells, y'all, they were just too thick. At least I think they were too thick. Here we go. Okay. Well, yes and no. Uh, let's just kind of go ahead and zoom in a little bit and bring it closer. So, you don't necessarily see the core, but it does successfully kind of darken up the green. It's still very attractive. And of course, you have this tab that kind of comes out the back. You can either leave that or clip it off. I see a lot of bait makers, they just leave the tab in. I don't really know if it helps or harms the bait as a whole, like as a functioning bait. 
But uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, not bad for a first round. You know, if we really, really look close, you can see the core in there. It's just not super apparent. And so I think we can definitely get a better core effect from this. Right, I just, I think we can do better. But that's, that's really not bad. I kind of like the whole green and black. So yeah, what do y'all think? It's not the worst color I've ever done, but yeah, I knew the shells might be a smidge too thick. All right, now we're gonna make things more difficult on ourselves and really shoot for the uh, stars here. We're gonna do a laminate shell core shot. So, thinking some black grape on one side as, as the shell color. Definitely needed a little thicker than that, but not too thick as we just learned. All right, so black grape on one side, so a purple shell. Yeah, it can definitely be thicker than that. Purple shell on one side, and then the other side, I'm thinking we're gonna really throw ourselves for a loop and do some gold pearl powder. So we're really, really kinda doing some crazy stuff here trying to really showcase this mold because that last color was good but not great so now i am determined to do something great so sort of a lsu looking color here for the shell this gold and purple because <laughs> that that immediately strikes me as like lsu or something i don't know somebody will have a somebody will be offended that I didn't name their team. But to me, this looks like LSU. So, look, two shell colors looking like that there. The purple, the purple and gold. And then some flake. Oh yeah, gotta get some flake. All right, here we go, laminate shells. This should look pretty good. What I don't know yet is what color core I might want to do. I'm thinking some sort of green, but I really won't know until I see the shells. But it's really pretty together, the uh, purple and gold. So hopefully the uh, saturations are correct. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. And wouldn't you know it, the gold side is actually uh, less see-through than the purple, right? The purple, you can really see clearly through to the uh, core rod. The purple, I mean, sorry, on the uh, gold side, it's a little obscured. Um, but I think if we run the right core color through the center, I still think these will look really good. I mean, that's, that's pretty attractive. It's subtle. I mean, that's freaking class right there. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, and, you know, obviously, of course, everyone, you know, if you buy the core shot version of this, you can do regular single uh, colors and laminate colors uh, as well. You don't have to use the core uh, effect. So, you know, essentially, you're getting both molds in one buying the core shot version. You know, if you buy the regular version, um, you're, you're basically forfeiting the ability to do the core shot. But the core shot lets you do all options so I don't know that's really attractive but I'm still thinking a green core of some kind all right so I have the shells loaded back in and I kind of did them opposite of each other just trying to be fancy so let's let's hope this works out time to build a core color here we go all right very very thick green pearl core color let's hope this looks good fingers crossed yeah who knows i don't know if those three colors go together or not i have not the slightest idea we are just experimenting with a new mold trying to come up with something good along the way that's how new colors are born all right we'll also give this one a quick drum roll here we go Let's see if these did any better. 
Your guess is as good as mine. Oh man, that is hot. Oh my God. Again, still a little too thick on the, um, I guess on the gold side, but look at how awesome those colors work together. The gold, the purple, and the, and the really, really rich green pearl. That ain't bad. Look at that. It has a, uh, it has sort of like a Easter or toothpaste color vibe about it. And that's not even a bad thing. I'm not, uh, hello everyone. I'm not ashamed at all. I do think though, I just need to get a little more used to this mold and a little bit used to the, uh, saturations required on the shells you know because it's it's interesting had this been the regular core shot stick worm mold with a thinner shell you would probably see the cores better but you know anytime you're working with pearls that can be difficult as you can see you can see the core better on that side yeah that right there is super super cool so uh, i guess let's let's take them off here to where you can uh, really get a really get a, a real look at them yeah so I guess the question now becomes number one do you like it number two okay yeah yeah you can definitely see the core through there a little bit number two would you throw this I definitely would I would 100% throw that there is nothing wrong with that is it the most natural color no but it's something new it's something new this is not a normal kind of color build, at least not for me. But, you know, it's, it's fun to do new colors that challenge your thinking, particularly in a new mold, because you're getting the best of both worlds. You're experimenting with color ideas that you don't normally put together. I wouldn't normally do this. And you're seeing it in a brand new configuration, a brand new mold. So it's, it's fun to do new colors and new molds. That's what new mold day is all about. So anytime you get a new mold, which speaking of, I don't want to not mention this. Uh, I'm going to have to alter the camera here. AI and Dead On Plastics currently, right now, as you're watching this, both have Black Friday sales going on. Uh, so now is the time to get your Dead On Plastics and your AI molds. All right, so as promised, we are going to do the other core shot method where the core color goes um, through the body and actually fills in the tail. And so in order to do that, we basically just need to clip everything off right there at the tail. All right, so that's the portion of the body that's going to go back in the mold. So now, if you think about it, when that blue core, because I'm, I'm going to do a blue core on these, when that core color goes through, not only do you get the core effect in the body, but now the now you also get the split tail effect. So, you know, the green pumpkin body, and, and this is basically a Okeechobee crawl is what I'm doing, just core shot version. So now we'll have a nice blue tail and then the core throughout the uh, green pumpkin body. All right, let's see how these looked. Yeah, beautiful. Real bright in your face. Again, you know, this is basically how I would mix up an Okeechobee crawl um, is, is kind of doing it this way. So not nothing new to the core shot spectrum. A lot of people that have core shot molds, they do sort of a green and blue. So uh, if we look at one there, what's really cool is that blue turns into a nice green. So if you watched a recent video I did, uh, kind of hand pouring with illusion, I was doing a hand poured worm. You know, this is the same effect there. You have a green and a, and a blue, or sort of a dark brown green interfacing with a blue that then turns it into a different shade of green. And so what's cool is that you have the same illusion here. That green that you're seeing doesn't exist. It only exists when those two colors are together which is why Okeechobee Crawl and Okeechobee Magic are some of my favorite colors. But the point of this color is, you can see that there are kind of two different ways to do it. So a lot of people use this mold this way. They core shot the body, but then allow the core shot color to fill in the tail 
so that they get all the effects. They get the core shot effect and the split tail effect. And boy, it's hard to beat that. That's why this mold is such a favorite. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, definitely do it. Now's the time to get it with the sale going on. Yeah, 15% off pretty much the whole website. So can't beat that. All right, there it is, y'all. Isn't that cool? Man, now I just need to figure out a way to get all these different colors in this configuration all in the same shot on the mold. <sighs> if only. But uh, yeah, that right there is cool. Such an awesome mold. I mean, any, any of the AI core shot molds are just next level in terms of injection. And, uh, you know, we don't really need to talk about this color. I mean, I guess it could be worse, right? You know, you can still see the black through there. I don't know. What do y'all think? Was the first color just a complete dud? It, I, I don't think it belongs in that stack, but uh, we could definitely expand on that. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm super happy with it. And uh, now let's do a little bathtub tank test so that you can see the tail kick on this bad boy. All right, tub time. You can see my son Landon's uh, little tub toys there, but let's check this bad boy out. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get a good shot here. Ah, I got to get it moving faster. Look at that. <laughs> got a little shaky head on there. See if we can get a little closer. Yeah, some awesome, awesome kick there. So yeah, you kind of get an idea that it's very grub-like in its action, but the profile is also great for flipping. I actually just got off the phone with Josh and he's like, dude, tell them how great of a flipping bait it is. So. Uh, incredibly versatile, and as you can see, the mold is extremely fun and inspiring to use, especially with the core shot effect. So there's what we did today with the phantom mold, but I wanted to show you all some bonus baits. So we did sort of a hand poured, sort of like a corn snake, or also like a banded water snake. They have lots of orange, blacks, and browns. And um, yeah, that's all um kind of using the same technique that we did in a couple a couple videos ago i may have made reference to it earlier pouring with illusion um there's not really any color illusion here but this is the same pouring method so yeah really cool eight inch hand pour worm there's the what the mold looks like right there and i love trying to challenge my hand pouring chops and color building chops by trying to do snake patterns it is so much fun such a cool challenge and uh, yeah, there's just some bonus baits. All right, that's gonna wrap this video up. We are back inside, got my fish mounts behind me. Uh, so that's always a good feeling to remind myself, hey, once upon a time, you know, I could catch them good. But uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, yeah, it's the, the holidays are here, ready or not. So um, hope everyone has safe travels and good family time. Hope everyone stays in good health, of course. And uh, again, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget about the awesome sales going on with angling AI molds and dead on plastics. Uh, if you have any questions about that, uh, just please feel free to reach out to those companies. I believe dead on has a code for it, or sorry, dead on does not have a code. There's no code necessary. I think the whole website's opened up. I think with AI, everything is, is um, applies to the sale, but I do think there is a code. So just check with them. Um, if I get more information, I can put that also down in the comment section. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thanks, y'all, for watching so much, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.